Hi everyone, and welcome to another video in our series on managing and maintaining your Kyocera Task Alpha MFP. In today's video, we are going to be discussing how to utilize private print, which is a feature that is built into the latest Kyocera KX driver, which allows for printing uh, that can be released at a designated time that you choose. Essentially, this allows you to print confidential documentation or print documentation or until it can be released at a time that is more convenient to you. So the first thing you do is you need to print our document using the private print job settings. So I'll open up my test document here uh, and I will go to file and then print. Once in here, I'll make sure that I have selected the printer that I wish to print to and then I will choose printer properties. Now, the application that you're printing from does not matter. Now, your printer properties might look a little bit different than mine uh, from an aesthetic point of view, but regardless, the feature should be in the same location. So if I go to job, and then you see an option for job storage, E-MPS, I will select the job storage option, and then for type, I will select private print. Now, I can either have it prompt for an access code, or I can specify the access code I want it to automatically use, one, two, three, four in our case. Now, specifying the access code is great if you are doing repeated, um, if you are doing repeated printing and you just want to have it use the same code over and over and over again. Prompt for access code is great if you're just doing a one-off use um, of the feature set or if you are going to be expecting other folks to be collecting the jobs for you. In this case, we'll leave prompt for access code enabled so that you can see the dialog that pops up. I will select print. It will prompt me to input my access code. This is the code that you're going to use when you collect the job at the machine. So I'm going to input one, two, three, four as my job collection code. Now, when I make my way over to the copier, I will look for the icon called job box. Once I select it, you'll see that the private print stored job option will have a file available. I will open that. What you will see is that the username of your computer will be right here confirming that you sent the job. I'll open this and now that I'm here I can select one or all of the jobs that I wish to print. Once I have done so, I will select print. I will enter my password that I entered before at my computer, 1234. If that is the correct password, uh, it'll ask me how many copies I want, and then I can select to start print. If I input the wrong password, it'll give me a notification saying that I entered the wrong password and ask for me to re-enter a password. So input that, enter the number of copies that I want, and I will hit start print, and the job will then be printed out of the job box. A couple quick notes here. Um, you cannot change any of the settings after you have clicked print on your computer. So if you want to staple or print in color or do anything like that, you need to make sure that you select those settings before you select print at your computer before collecting your job from the copier. Another note, if your printer is deployed from a print server, there are certain settings that need to be enabled on the driver side uh, on the server in order to make that change uh, and to make private print a usable feature. If that sounded like a bunch of gibberish, please reach out to your Kyocera service provider or to your IT administrator and they will likely know how to resolve the issue and they will know what settings need to be enabled to allow this. Another common error is before that setting is enabled server side, a job will be in the job box and no matter how many times you input the correct print code, it will still tell you that you are using the incorrect code. The code that you are to use in those scenarios is four zeros. So zero, 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 zero. In today's video, we learned about the basics of private printing. This is printing that is uh, essentially a hold queue where you, the end user, can release your job at your convenience. And it also allows you to print confidential documentation without it sitting on the output tray of the copier for anyone to see. My name is Sam Hammond, lead product trainer here at Boston Document Systems, and I want to thank you for joining me today. And I look forward to seeing you again.